We all know how critical and essential food is to our lives. For this reason, in Taiwan, agriculture holds a position of highest importance. Established nearly 120 years ago, the Taiwan Agricultural Research Institute is one of the major government institutions for development of agriculture in Taiwan. As a key pillar of our nation's economic development, its mission is to conduct strategic fundamental and applied R&D to sustain agricultural development. As such, it has contributed to Taiwan's food output, agrarian economy, and ecological environment. The Institute's highly professional staff has expertise in various agricultural disciplines. It conducts experiments relating to plant germplasm conservation, biotechnologies, soil and environmental sustainability, pest control, agricultural machinery, farming industries, agricultural information systems, etc. It develops comprehensive solutions for agricultural production. The objectives are to maximize its R&D effectiveness and encourage knowledge sharing, thereby pushing Taiwan's agricultural development up another rung. After Taiwan's period of Japanese colonial rule, its economy underwent structural change. Today's agriculture needs to respond to a broad spectrum of concerns, such as food safety, rural development, and ecological conservation. As such, the Institute focuses on ensuring the sustainability of agricultural development. For instance, Tainong 67, a rice variety that once took up 75% of Taiwan's farmland, plays a key role in feeding the population. In recent years, it employed various breeding technologies to grow other varieties of rice. They include Tainong 71, or Ichan aromatic rice, various nutritious and delicious multi-purpose varieties, and colored rice. Up to 95% of all the sweet potato varieties farmed in Taiwan can be credited to the Institute. They are excellent for cooking and baking, while their leaves are also healthy and delicious. Faced with global concerns like climate change and food security, the Institute is keen to cultivate stress-tolerant dryland crops in order to ensure balanced food supply and demand in Taiwan. Emphasis is also placed on vegetables and fruit trees that provide people with daily intake of minerals and fibers. Especially prized are vegetable varieties characterized by early maturity resistance to heat and disease, and high yield potential. The Institute also develops a wide variety of temperate, subtropical, and tropical fruit trees. They have adjustable growing periods, lesser need for chill units, and greater tolerance for storage and transportation. To preserve Taiwan's germplasm diversity, the Institute operates Taiwan's one and only National Plant Genetic Resources Center. According to their different temperature settings, seeds are stored in short-term, mid-term, and long-term storage rooms. It's Taiwan's equivalent to Noah's Ark for preserving plant germplasm. In 2009, Taiwan became a member of the UN Global Seed Bank project. As such, it sent seed samples of its staple crops for storage at Norway's Svalbard Global Seed Vault, not far from the North Pole. 
to provide norms for the government's policy regarding farmland use. The Institute has established a soil database to implement a standardized process for surveying, monitoring and integrating soil usage. Understanding the characteristics of soil is crucial for easing soil deterioration and pollution of water sources. This will surely help preserve the quality of farmland and ensure agriculture's sustainable development. The Institute develops various automated farm machinery to increase the efficiency of agricultural production, to overcome natural barriers, and to lower pesticide, fertilizer, and manpower costs. Climate change, Taiwan's admission to the WTO, and international competition in farm products have led to changes in local people's dietary patterns. Regardless of changes in the environment, in society, or in consumer patterns, the Institute is always ready to take up the challenge and formulate a healthy agricultural production system. Health management models are devised to accommodate different crops. These include the choice of healthy seedlings and proper farmland, and integrated management of soil, moisture, fertilizer, and pesticide. The objective is to grow healthy plants while preserving environmental and ecological integrity. Perfect! To ensure effective pest control, the Institute conducts comprehensive surveillance to detect major pests such as oriental fruit flies, melon flies, and several polyphagous moths. Early warnings are sounded so that farmers can take necessary and timely precautions. Control strategies for various pests and diseases threatening major crops have been put in place to guarantee good yield. Many efforts have been focused on developing non-chemical agents to reduce or replace pesticide usage. These materials offer new alternatives for pest control. In addition to strengthening research on crop nutrition, the Institute is intent on optimizing the use of fertilizer. By rationalizing the use of fertilizer, it seeks to improve its efficient usage. To effectively keep watch over food safety, the Institute has adopted a rapid bioassay for pesticide residue, RBPR technology. More than 300 assay stations have been established throughout Taiwan, conducting tests on over 600,000 samples annually. This fast screening method can be used in pre-harvest stage for fruit, vegetables and rice. Since 1993, this Institute has held 12 international training workshops in Taiwan spreading the application of this technology worldwide. As a precaution against crop epidemics, the Institute has built Taiwan's largest vault of antisera against plant viruses. It is now home to more than 200 kinds of antisera. Meanwhile, it has established virus indexing and healthy seedling propagation systems for delaying the occurrence of viral diseases and enhancing the quality of seeds and seedlings. Always forward-looking, the Institute engages in proactive R&D on cutting-edge technologies on all fronts. One example is adjusting the growing periods of mushrooms, flowers, water bamboo, etc. Biotechnologies are employed to facilitate agricultural re-engineering. The Institute operates the only mushroom lab in Taiwan. It has nurtured and introduced mass production of many mushroom varieties, including thermotolerant ones. Meanwhile, this feat is supplemented by its development of automatic environmental control technologies. To help flower farmers grow their business, 
the Institute is proactive in developing new varieties with innovative shapes and colors. For example, there is a mini variety of moth orchid that features not only more blossoms than its larger peers, but also a shorter growing period. There are also the blue moth orchid, the bright colored flaming anthurium, and night star lily, and many varieties of oncidium, especially the pure and beautiful snow white. Emphasis is placed on further upgrading cultivation technologies. Seasonal management is conducted to diversify the growing periods of cut flowers. A physiological test platform is set up for the moth orchid to set standards of quality for seedlings. The Institute has also developed post-harvest handling and transportation technologies for horticultural exports. Their competitiveness is enhanced as the rate of rotting and transportation costs are both greatly reduced. Taking advantage of the symbiosis between water bamboo and smut fungi, the Institute developed a special lighting technology that allows local farmers to grow the vegetable all year round. To cushion the impact of climate change on agricultural production, the Institute studies ways to readjust rice growing periods and applies them to varieties of quality rice in different parts of the country. As for energy conservation in agricultural production, the Institute uses LED lighting in place of tungsten lighting to readjust growing periods and enhance the quality of certain crops. Real-time meteorological monitoring is used in conjunction with cultivation practices to minimize whatever interference the climate may cause to agricultural production. In terms of agricultural biotechnology research, the Institute has developed molecular tests for detection of seedborne diseases, as well as identification of crop cultivars and seed purity. They are already in use by industry. Meanwhile, much headway has been made in R&D relating to crop functional genomics analysis. The genetically modified crops industry has grown substantially worldwide these years. As such, the Institute has been called upon to install isolated greenhouses and net houses as well as experimental fields. It is crucial to investigate the genetic characteristics of genetically modified crops in order to prevent the environment from being disrupted by those crops. As such, the Institute is proactively engaged in testing genetically modified crops so as to ensure public health and ecological integrity. Over the years, the Institute has played a pivotal role in linking Taiwan's agriculture to academia and industry. Besides conducting in-depth research on critical topics and preserving the agricultural environment, it is keen to integrate such resources as farm labor, experimental fields, and farm machinery for use by other research institutions. The first of its kind in Asia, the Institute's Soil Museum offers tips about soil sections, development, characteristics, and use relating to plants. It also has Taiwan's largest collection of insect specimens and digitized glass slide specimens. It is an educational and informative establishment that not only helps with surveys and preservation of agricultural resources, but also enriches resources for fundamental research. The Institute also offers chemical analysis and testing services nationwide, thereby ensuring food safety while serving the farmers. The Institute makes it a point to promote industry-academia collaboration by strengthening cooperation with domestic and foreign academic and research institutions. It aims to usher in external vitality and new concepts, technologies and resources. R&D becomes useful only when it can add value to industry. With this in mind, the Institute operates Taiwan's only agricultural innovation and incubation center, 
It serves farmers and businesses by offering technical transfer packages. To better enhance the quality of farming manpower, the government set up the Farmers Academy in 2011. The Academy's Management Center is located at the Institute. It offers a complete range of systematic training to nurture entry-level, primary and advanced farmers. Lecture forums, symposia and special topic camps are organized to imbue farmers with better rounded new thinking and enhance their problem-solving capacity. Separately, the Institute is proactive in bringing to market the fruits of its hard work by transferring new technologies and licensing new varieties. Quality crops with different growing periods, such as pineapple and lychee, are singled out for cultivation to help stabilize market prices. This strategy can enhance not only farmers' income, but also the competitiveness of Taiwan's agriculture. In order to realize its vision of becoming a pilot in innovating and adding value to agricultural R&D, the Institute never stops restructuring itself and introducing domestic and overseas resources so that it can solve problems confronting Taiwan's agriculture and put resources to more efficient use. It has also set up research teams to grow a great diversity of new varieties and develop critical technologies. Emphasis is placed on preserving a healthy agriculture while developing innovative R&D for agricultural technologies. To put its R&D fruits to practical use, the Institute works hard to strengthen the interaction between farmers and agricultural industries. This is crucial for adding value to industry at large. In the coming years, facing a knowledge economy and an increasingly globalized world, the Institute will do its utmost to continue breathing new life into Taiwan's agriculture to ensure dynamic and sustainable growth.